lovely liver. I am in my mid 20s. I am active. I have a smooth texture and I am healthy with normal liver tests. I don't touch alcohol, mind you. I have now got a new job, earning well, enjoying my burgers, pizzas, kebabs and aerated drinks. Exercise does not fit in my schedule. Fat seems to be depositing in me. I am now called a fatty liver. I mean non-alcoholic fatty liver. N-A-F-L-D. Fatty liver even though I don't take alcohol. Not possible at all. They've told me to eat healthy and exercise. But it's okay, yeah. Anyway, my liver function tests are normal. And remember, I don't take alcohol at all. I'm putting on weight. I've developed diabetes. I'm too lazy to exercise and unable to stop my junk food. Fat deposits are increasing in me. So much so as to suffocate me. I look bigger. I look yellow. And I feel very tired and lethargic. It's nearing 3 years. I've started burning. My liver function tests are not good at all. And they now call me NASH. That is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. I've put on much more weight. My diabetes is not under control. They call me morbidly obese. Doctor has told me to lose weight or else things will not be good for me. But now, even though I want, I am unable to exercise due to the tiredness and the excess weight that I have put on. Doctor says that I can undergo bariatric surgery. This bariatric surgery will help me to lose weight as well as get out of my diabetes. Superb, isn't it? But I need some time to think over it and then I can make my decision. 10 years have gone by but I have not been able to make my decision for bariatric surgery which as the doctor said would reverse my NASH. I am scarring. I have now begun to shrink a little and I have a cobblestone appearance. They now label me as cirrhosis. I now feel even more tired. I have started to lose weight. Water seems to be collecting around me. They call it ascites. I have now begun to vomit blood. My liver function tests are extremely bad. They say that I am not able to do my normal functions like glucose metabolism producing proteins and clotting factors. Hence, the uncontrolled diabetes and the ascites and the blood vomit. They say that I have reached a point of no return and I could even go on to have liver cancer. I should have done my diet and exercise when I was called fatty liver and NASH. Please don't do what I have done. Learn from me. Listen to your doctor and take a 180 degree turn at the right moment. Stop overindulging in junk food and aerated drinks. From the fatty liver stage, you can revert back to normal. Even though you have reached the NASH stage, you can still revert to normal. But when fibrosis sets in, then you can put a halt to the disease. But it's not possible to revert back to normal. And when cirrhosis comes in, then there's no question of reverting back to normal at all. So words of wisdom. A stitch in time can save nine. Timely intervention when you are morbidly obese and you have a fatty liver, take the right decision. Exercise, stop your junk food or go in for bariatric surgery.